Good afternoon and welcome to Halacha Day number 928. A Halacha Day keeps the eights our way. We're continuing the laws of the blessing of Birkas Hamazon, the blessing we make after we eat a bread meal. And we're talking about different scenarios where you forgot the insertion. Today we're going to talk about what if you forgot during Rosh Chodesh, which is the head of the month. What if you forgot during the intermediate days of holidays, Cholomoyed, like Pesach and Sukkos, those in-between days called Cholomoyed. What if you forgot on Rosh Hashanah to say the special Yalev Yavo in all three cases? What do you do? Here we go. If you forgot on Rosh Chodesh, again, the head of the month, and did not say Yalev Yavo, the special insertion, you should say the following. And he has it again here in our art school prayer books on page 197. Blessed are you, Hashem, our God, King of the Universe, who gave new moons to his people, Israel, as a remembrance. And you do not say an after-blessing, meaning with the other scenarios, with Shabbat or Yom Tov, we had a second blessing, which also started with Baruch. So it starts with Baruch, ends with a Baruch. Um, that's called a long blessing. So when it comes to in the insertion for Rosh Chodesh, when you forgot, the Yalev Yavo, so you just say this blessing without the second Baruch, okay? It does not matter whether this happened during the day or night on Rosh Chodesh. So whether you forgot in the evening Rosh Chodesh or in the morning, you just have to make up with that prayer and you have to do it. If during the intermediate days of Yom Tov, you did not say Yala Vivo, you should say the following. Blessed are you, Hashem, our God, King of the universe, who gave festivals to his people Israel for happiness and joy. This day of, that name the festival. Blessed are you, Hashem, Sanctifier of Israel and the seasons. If this should occur on Rosh Hashanah, coming up, you should say the following. Blessed are you, Hashem, our God, King of the universe, who gave festivals to his people, Israel, for remembrance. Blessed are you, Hashem, sanctifier of Israel, and a day of remembrance. And if you did not remember that you forgot Yahweh Yavo until after starting the next blessing, the fourth blessing, as we mentioned the other day, you need not repeat from the beginning. Why not? For on Rosh Chodesh, again, the head of the month, and the intermediate days of Yom Tov, Cholomoyed, and on Rosh Hashanah, you are not specifically required to eat bread. So the fact that eating bread is kind of extra credit in this case, that's why you don't have to go back. Whereas on Shabbos, you do have to eat bread, and that's why you have to go back, at least in meal one and two, but not in meal three, as we learned already. Thanks for listening. That was 928 to sponsor future Lacha 36100 of the gold. Have a great day.